Hi, my name is L, and today I'll be teaching you how to make a basic search program on your website. What you will need is basic HTML, MySQL, and PHP. Let's get started. This is what the output will look like. You can basically search in the database for a specific word or term. You will then select where you would like to search. And once you click the search button, it should be able to find your selected term or word. Now we're going to create our search DB. The database name is search db. Copy it, then paste it. And click create. So now we successfully created our database. So the name of our table is simple search. Copy it, then paste it. number of columns is 1, 2, 3, and 4. So we have 4 columns. The name is SID. And you can see there are so many types, but we will use only one type for it. And it is in. Next is as body and should be bar chart then as title and still should be bar chart then the as description the length of the ID should be 10, 100, and it should be auto incremented. Next is body. Basically, you can define your own length and values in your own wheel. So now we're, we will define which will be our primary key and the primary key should be the SID because it is auto incremented it will always create a unique number then click save so now we successfully created our table simple search This is how we insert the data in our database. For the ID, we don't need to put anything here because it is auto-incremented. It will always create a, pri a unique ID, ID or number for our data. So for the body, this is where we will put the contents of our data.
then for the title we will put here the title of our data then next for the description this is where we will put a short summary for our data all of this is important all of this is searchable in our search PHP program then click go we successfully inserted the data in our simple search db this video is just an example on how to insert the data in the database but don't be afraid you're still free to insert your own data the database that you created for the next video we will use a new sets of data and we will discuss the html codes of our simple search php all right so this is part three of four in how to make a simple search feature with php and mysql Let's make a new file and name it simplesearch.php. On this page, we will be creating the form of our search feature. You should have basic knowledge in HTML. In this form, we will use the method get. There will be one text field, four checkboxes, and one submit button. And there you have it. It's as simple as that. Let's move on to the next part where we will integrate PHP codes within our HTML tags. So let's start creating PHP codes to connect to the PHP MyAdmin database. We will need to know the host.
the username. The password. And the name of the database that you put your data into. Now let's make a connection string that will use the host, the username, and password to connect to the database. If not, it will trigger an error. Now we need to create a function called MySQL Select DB. It basically selects the database that we will be using on the server. Next, we will create variables to store our errors and results. Okay, now we need to set up some validations for the form. As you can see, we use the trim function to get what the user input into the search text box and trim the white spaces. Also, we use strip tags to remove any HTML and JavaScript that might have been included in the search term. Next, we place an error statement if the search term that the user input is shorter than three characters. If it's longer than three characters, it will then perform a function called MySQL Real Escape String, which prevents SQL injection. An example of an SQL injection that the user might input would be drop DB. So after all of the validation checking is done, let's continue on to searching. The following codes will create select statement where 
it will match the user input and filter the select statement based on the checkbox checked. The user will be able to search the body, the title, and the description. Next, we will use a function called array filter. It calls a function called removed empty and removes any item that was not checked. If no boxes are checked, then it will use the body as a default search. If the match all boxes checked, it will search the body, title, and description, and it will be ordered by the title. After selecting the specific filters, it will then construct the select statement.
The function remove empty, called earlier by array filter, removes any item that was empty or left unchecked. So the last thing we need to do is to add PHP statements within the HTML code. We will include a span that holds the error statements In forms, we will call the server function that will call itself. And for each checkbox, we will include an isSet function that checks if it is checked. Lastly, we will echo the results.